Well, here's the lineup for India. Rajat Chawan, China Raju Sridhar, and Abhishek Verma. Just a slightly above 50% uh, win average for this Indian team, looking very relaxed. They're up against another strong team from France. So, of course, Sebastian Pino came first at the World Championships in Mexico in October last year. So, shooting first, there we see the uh, referee indicating the French will go up first. Now, you spotted something earlier on, Lucy. What's interesting about this men's lineup for both the, the bronze and the gold medal match? So what's so exciting, and it's it's very much like a like a tennis um, seeding system. So what's very interesting is that every single team here today, Korea came first, USA came second, and they are in the gold medal match. And India came fourth, and France came third in the ranking, and they are in the bronze medal match. So the seeding has actually worked this time. Ah, oh, perfect shot there. <laughs> Well, good start there from the French, dropping one, only one point, potential 30 from the first three arrows. India to shoot second. They know they need three tens just to win this first three arrows. So teams of three, they shoot uh, in groups of three, don't they? Yeah, of course. So each archer potentially nice gets shot. 20 nice seconds shot. per arrow, yeah, three, three, and they three. do that twice round for each end. So a maximum score of 60 across each end. So that's ultimately what the teams are aiming for. Good. Yes. So that is a, a nine, it's been asterisk, so it's potentially a ten. So at the moment the uh, scores are all tied between France and India, but if India's arrow is marked up, then uh, India have taken the early lead. Well, good response there from the French. Of course, world champion there with his gold bow. Oh, just off. Pierre Julien won't be happy with that. And an X just to finish that off. So 58 out of a potential 60 points. I uh, expected higher scores. But the pressure is the so, it's so, it's so intense, isn't it, here? And then the, first, uh, the first stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup and everyone's trying to put down a marker. So the pressure is going to be pretty high for both teams. It's very interesting what you're saying about pressure there. It could be that their shots aren't as relaxed because of that pressure and perhaps they're just trying too hard rather than just letting it happen. Ah, good recovery there from India. 
But then they're going to need a 10 here just to draw a level. But obviously that's subject to that third arrow being marked up. And a nine. Oh. So potentially after all that, they are one point behind the French. Well, subject to confirmation, we're going to have to see the uh, target faces a little bit more close up, and the agents will go and check the scores along with the judge. Be interesting to see whether that third arrow is marked up. Of course, the uh, French agent will be hoping that that arrow is marked down. Nine. Nine. And the uh, Indian agent will be hoping ten, it's marked ten, up. Ten, ten. Yeah. Sounds like that was awarded to the Indian team. Okay. X, X, nine. X, ten, nine. Yeah, it's one X. One X. Oh, X is good. Is one. Sa sa X. Oh yeah, three. Well, there's been a big review here. I haven't confirmed the scores just yet, and there you go. Just as I say it, that nine from the Indians in their third marked up to a 10, and we're all level after the first end. Three more to go. Lucy, you said the trailing team go first, uh, but what if you're tied? So if you're tied, the team that went first in the first end, so whoever decided for the match, um, Just a reminder, don't step into they'll go first again. Don't take a roll, don't put your ladies. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. So yeah, last time it was France that went first, so it'll be France that go first again, because the scores are tied. So three arrows to start from the French team. Your target two, so right target. And that's a 10. So, yeah, they'll be happy with that. That puts France in a, in a good position that uh, PJ will then aim for that 10 and then Jean-Philippe as well. Yeah, so that's Deloche and uh, Pinot. Second and third archers for France. Oh, and a 10. But he just pulled away then, almost looking a bit disappointed. Yeah, but he'll be a bit disappointed with the low 10. They, these guys are expecting X's, so they're expecting those center tens. A fairly new archer to the team there, so you see the experience of the other two guys, that's why they're getting tens. Hopefully they'll pull up Jean-Philippe to uh, get more tens. So just dropping a point there. First arrow for India, 29 out of 30 for France. So the Indians are gonna want two tens here just to stay level. And that's a 10. There we go. As you said, one more 10 needed to stay level. There we go. That is possible 10. Subject to confirmation. So three more arrows from the French team in the second end here. Remember, this is the bronze medal match in the compound men's team event here at stage one of the Hyundai Archery World Cup in Shanghai. Thank you. 
Two sends there for the French. What can Jean Philippe do? Five seconds to go. And an X. Well, that was intense. He let that go with one second left on the clock. Talk about pressure. Yeah, it's a simple game in principle. Fire arrow 50 meters down onto the target and get as close to the center as possible. But, oh, that, that's pretty, pretty close. Seems that the Indian team may have adjusted their sights or maybe they're just pushing their bows a little bit harder. But every uh, bad arrow that the archers have got today has gone low. And not now. They have found the middle. Well, it was consistency that uh, won the women's gold medal. And at the moment, both teams shooting heavily, but the Indians, look at the grouping on the left. Stunning stuff. They have adjusted their sights, and now they're in the middle. Well, we're waiting for uh, confirmation of the scores. The agents will be down checking the target face. How much influence can the, your teammate have on, on the score? I mean, surely everyone just has to agree where, where the arrows land. So when they're going down to have a look at the, when they're looking at the targets, how much influence does the agent have on? Oh, okay. no influence. They'll just make sure that the judge is calling then, the arrows correctly. Nine. So you're making sure that if there's a liner, X, you ask X, for that arrow ten. to be called up, essentially. Checking that your team has been awarded correctly. What's interesting is the French team have so much experience. And as you said before, you know, we've seen two Indian teams in the finals. Well, here are the groupings. You can see exactly where the arrows have landed. India in the yellow, France in the red. That is such a good graphic, that Indian team. They're so close to the X on that shot. Range clear. So despite the consistency from the Indians, they're trailing here and they'll shoot first in the third end. Oh, just off. So of course you've got to, in Shanghai, you've got to contend with that water in the reflection. So that could have an effect on their sight marks. Very different shooting over water as to shooting over land. And not for that guy. He's got so many tens now. Well, masterful composure there. But they've dropped two points out of a possible 30 in the first three arrows, India. And France may well sense an opportunity here. Beautiful X. You can see that Sebastian was talking to his coach, talking about how hot and sweaty it is out here. He was sort of wiping his hand before, but it's clearly made no difference on his score. Oh, just dropping down there. That might well brush a nine, but they'll uh, have to have a look at that one. Just struggling a little bit to line up there. New guy to the team. And straight down the middle. Absolutely perfect. A little wobble at the beginning. So three more arrows from both of these teams. 
India first, third end of four in the bronze medal match in the men's team compound. And that's an X. So that just means that center, center 10. That's what all these archers are after. Lovely. I think he has got all tens. Yep. Every single shot he's done. Chino Raju, he has got tens. Wow. Lovely. Three brilliant arrows from the Indians. Pressure back on France. Oh, I just scraped in, but that's a 10. Just in his sight mark there. Making sure that his next shot will go in the X. Beautiful. You can hear the coach. Yes, super. Under 10 seconds to go. Oh, three seconds. It makes me so, makes me feel really tense when they do that. Just had to rush it through in the oh. end. And a near perfect score from both teams, just dropping two points. But we'll have to go and see if these scores are confirmed. The agents will be looking at least at one of the arrows. Yeah, I don't think India has touched their side. X, 10, 10. X, 9, 9. Yep. Yeah, because it's near. Oh, that's along the river. No, no. X? X. Oh, yeah. X. 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 Ten. Nine. Ten. Ten. Nine. Okay. Yeah, or for lunch. So the judge has made his call. Both agents uh, appear content with uh, what has been called, but yeah. just cool. waiting for the score to be confirmed. In the tower. There's a blue frog over in the tower, too. I'm I don't know if I'm down for blue frog. And there is confirmation. Both teams scoring 58 in the third end of four. And it means that France still hold a slender one point lead, perhaps with one hand on the bronze medal. It's so intense in the bronze medal compared to the gold medal match because if you lose this, you're going home with nothing. So here we go. Fourth yeah, end of so. the men's compound team bronze medal, India to shoot first. Oh, that's his first nine. He won't be happy with that. Yeah, body language changed there. Yeah, this uh, top level of archery, perfect tens is what every archer is looking for. Is that it? Can't quite see from that angle, but judges have called it a 10. So first three from India, they've only dropped a point. Pressure on France again. Well, Perfect. doesn't look like any pressure to me. Well, he is our current world champion, so I would hope the pressure would be off of Pino in a team round. Of course, PJ was number one in the world as well in the rankings, so you know the French team are 
pretty solid with these two first archers. There we go. Another 10, but it's a relative rookie who's come in uh, to the team in Jean-Philippe Bush. And it's how can their team and the coach keep him calling, keep his arrows in the 10. Oh, lovely. Just on the line by the looks of things. I d that shot, I didn't, I didn't know if that was going in the 10 there. He took quite a long time on that arrow. Both teams have 120 seconds to shoot their six arrows. Oh, lovely. So <laughs> India scoring another 10. The tension just starting to build now. Yeah. This, I mean, the last two shots of the day for India. Lovely. That target <laughs> looks perfect. You can see the arrows there left behind those marks, they seem much more consistent on their third shots. Five seconds. Oh, just, oh. just drifted down to the right, but 29 in the last three arrows, not too bad. But of course, the French have scored Subject to confirmation, three tens. Oh. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> didn't know what happened there. Shrugging his shoulders. Two nines be enough to draw level. Need a ten. There we go, that's one. <laughs> So, Bouche was the one that uh, dropped the ball in the semi-finals that put the French into this medal match. Can he hold things together here? Nine to win and he's got a ten. There we go. Well, recovered oh. from a shaky semi-final. The oh. French have come out as two-point winners here in the bronze medal match in the men's team compound event, stage one in Shanghai of the Hyundai Archery World Cup. And congratulations, there is confirmation of the French bronze medal winning team. Lucy, brilliant match there, brilliant. It was, uh, it was quite intense. The, the Indians put in their third shots. 10-10-10, 10-10-10 in those, and two and three. You know, they seem very consistent. But France, you know, 58-59, 58-59, much more consistent. Well, we're just waiting for uh, the judges to confirm that, and it looks like they are. Uh, they have now confirmed it. But like you say, the, the French, they're holding it together, breaking away in the second end and then just holding on in the third and extending the lead by a point got in a feel. the fourth. Got a feel for India there. You know, 58, 58, 58, 58. It's just not enough. Amazing, at this level, you've got to be shooting well, clear, well, cl almost perfect, really. Yeah. 58, 59, 58, 59 for the French team, and that was enough for them to take the bronze medal match yeah. here in Shanghai. Gold to come.